So we got Saints at the Rams. Rams favored by four, total 44 and a half. Who do you like in the captain spot? I mean, would love to go with Kyron here, but uh, <laughs> someone's quick to the draw. So I'm going to go with Matthew Stafford, <laughs> who's probably the next best option because there's a ton of options uh, on the Rams side. Uh, and Stafford just loves to spread the ball around. So I like the idea of using him as a captain. If he were to throw, you know, three touchdowns, one to Cup, one to Nakua, one to Robinson or Kyron, um, it would increase the chances. You, you probably need Stafford in the captain slot to take down a GPP. Um, and Stafford, I said, is he a Hall of Famer? I don't know, but he's playing at a high level right now. Should be able to pick apart the Saints defense that I think is overrated. They've you know, they almost made Bryce Young look really good, um, but he, he missed a ton of throws. Stafford's not going to do that. It's at home. This is a great spot for Stafford, uh, and I like going with him here in the captain slot. Yeah, Stafford playing well. Uh, I think, you know, Cup being healthy really mm-hmm. helps. And I, I like what Demarcus Robinson's giving him, too, yeah. in that third receiver spot. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going Kyron Williams. I mean, he, he came close to overtaking McCaffrey in my ranks this week. He's – yeah, he's right there. I mean, he's just been so good. And, you know, we mentioned it, you know, McVay, one of the more consistent coaches in terms of player usage from one week to the next. So these last uh, three weeks and four of the last five, Williams has had uh, at least 20 carries and he's had 114 or more rushing yards in four of the last five games and, you know, 100 scrimmage yards in five straight every game, uh, every game since coming back from the injury and the game before uh, he got hurt. So uh, he's been super consistent. He's been scoring the touchdown almost every week for the last five. He scored at least one touchdown as well. Involved in the receiving game each of the last four games. He has uh, at least three catches. So uh, really think that they're going to just continue to ride Kyron uh, and try to get this playoff spot here. So love him in a captain spot. And he obviously, you know, leverage on, the more the more he's doing on the ground, the more it kind of takes away from everyone else in the in the game, really, especially in in the Ram passing game. Yeah, uh, I mean, he had that fumble. He got benched for Freeman. Uh, then he had another fumble, but I, I think McVay backed him. I, I don't think he's in the doghouse. Yeah, it um, doesn't seem like it. Yeah, no, but just obvious obvious uh, captain play here. I think it was a year ago. Uh, we were at the Rams game and I was screaming at McVay for playing Malcolm frickin' Brown over yeah. Kyron Williams. How yeah. the tides have turned, you know, just <laughs> how far we've come, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cam Akers started the year on this team. I totally forgot I... about that. Forgot about that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. What, uh, what do you like for value? Uh, you mentioned it, but you know, Demarcus Robinson, I think is a great uh, mid range play here and, Last week, he ran her out on every single one of Matthew Stafford's dropbacks. You know, that was mainly due to Tutu Atwell being held out. Um, and Atwell's expected a return here. But I still expect DeMarcus to run her out on, you know, say eight, over 80% of the dropbacks. Um, he's just been playing really well. And he, he's been a top three or four option most weeks. Um, had a nice, you know, two-catch 44-yard game with a nice touchdown. He also saw a jet sweep for 23 yards. You know, the Rams love doing that, so you could see one or two of those um, here. But, you know, he's been a nice addition to this team. He fits it perfectly. Like you mentioned last week, he's a great run blocker. So even though Atwell will return, I I think he's going to be a mainstay in this offense and probably still kind of overlooked. I I don't really care what his ownership is. I'm still using him here as a, you know, solid mid-range play with Stafford in the captain slot, obviously. Yeah, I mean, he – I think – be, like Atwell is able to return to more of a situational deep threat kind of role now because Robinson just gives you more run blocking and he's not really you're not losing anything that you know Atwell was doing really well earlier in the year when Van Jefferson was still there as that number two option with cup out but now you have cup you have Nakua your tight ends uh, are mostly healthy so I think Robinson you're not really losing anything by taking Atwell out of the lineup and using him more situationally so um, and I think you're gaining run blocking with, with Robinson in there. So, yeah, I think Robinson will continue to be the number three and, and Atwell will be more of the uh, the number four going forward. Uh, I, I like Taysom Hill. I know we talked about him in the other pod and we're both down on him, you know, season long rank. I think we have a tight end 20, but I think DFS perfect time to play a guy like him because last week, you know, probably, I guess, uh, ease back in due to injury. I mean, two touches was a season low for him, but 
when you look at his other games where he's had a, a low amount of touches this year, he's bounced back to next week. So, you know, first week of the season, he only had three touches for four scrimmage yards. The next week, 10 touches for 74 scrimmage yards. Um, you know, in week uh, against the Patriots, he only had four touches. The next week he had eight. And uh, more recently against the Vikings, only three touches for 23 scrimmage yards. The next week he comes back with nine uh, for 81. So it is a short week. Maybe he's still a little banged up. So obviously some risk, but that's the whole point. You know, low floor, high ceiling kind of guy. Uh, don't really want him. Don't really want to start him in season long because the median is lower, yep. but the, the the ceiling doesn't change, right? It's you know the ceiling is still uh, you know multiple touchdowns, <laughs> you know approaching a hundred scrimmage yards and uh, double digit touches for Taysom Hill. So um, yeah, like Taysom yeah, his his ceiling is a passing touchdown, a rushing touchdown, yeah. and a receiving touchdown. So our median do, our median projections don't like him, but like you said, just the eruption, just massive game is always there with him. Uh, who are, who's, who you like for dark throws? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go with one of the saints, 12 tight ends here. I'm going to go with, uh, Foster Moreau. Uh, you know, he has three straight games of two or more receptions, um, two straight games of, uh, 40% or greater route participation rate, which is, you know, pretty high considering they do have a pretty big committee. Um, so he has a, you know, slightly higher floor than your typical dart throw, in a, you know, three to four way tight end committee could also get a cheap touchdown as well. I know he had that really bad drop on Thursday night football a few weeks ago, but you know, the, the saints like to get, you know, heavy packages like that around the red zone. And uh, he could be a potential touchdown candidate here as well. So I just like the fact that he is seeing some pretty solid underlying usage to get, you know, two to three receptions here with, you know, the, the touchdown upside. Yeah, I think the Saints uh, tight end room in general is the one like you, they're all dart throws, but you definitely want to, yeah. to uh, invest in them because uh, I'm going with Jimmy Graham here and you know he's been made active these last few weeks and he's really just a designated red zone guy at this point. <laughs> he's had seven targets this year, five have come in the red zone. He's had six catches this year, four have gone for touchdowns. <laughs> uh, so it's it, that's kind of what you're getting with him. So if the Saints get in to the red zone, uh, expect him to get a couple. He's kind of like Isaiah Hodgins of the Giants now. Really, he's not really playing. He's only going to get like 20 percent of the the uh, the routes, if that, because it's mostly going to be in the red zone. But the touchdown probability is a lot higher than you know your normal player getting that many snaps. So mm -hmm. yeah, like Jimmy, uh, to what four three games in a row he's had a touchdown. So yeah, see yeah, if he can make it four. Uh, but yeah, he's a designated touchdown guy right now. His route participation has gone up in three straight games. So who yeah, knows? Yep, yep. Might be a fourth game.